Hey there everyone and welcome to the Flexbox training. Now in this video we are going to take a look on the power of the Flexbox. Now I know some of you want to get the basics first but before we get started into the basics it's really important to understand why the Flexbox is so much easier. And I'll point out a very classic uh, headache scenario in the CSS which we are going to see in this video. But before we start that I would like to say this that in order to learn the Flexbox you have to first of all reset your mind resetting like we don't use uh, float properties we don't use percentages in the flexbox it's a different way of laying out the things so for this i'll be using bringing up my atom i have two files here index.html and style.css okay pretty cool now in the index.html we're going to write the code from the scratch and we will understand how things can be a little bit easier uh, with the flexbox now the goal here is to uh, get a subscription box uh, where people can enter their email and can hit submit and i want that form to be exactly in the center of the screen exactly center of the page and uh, not just horizontally vertical center and we all know that the vertical center in the css is such a pain such a pain i know many of you have cried over that so let's get started here first of all and i'm going to get my boilerplate code for the body and we are not going to do much extraordinary here first of all i'm going to have a div uh, let's give it a class of bg for background there there we go nice and easy nothing extraordinary we're going to have a form there and it's going to have an action i'm not interested in the action right now i'm going to interest i'm only interested in the class and i'll give it a class of form okay simple now next thing we need two input form one for email and one for submit so let's get that input oops input and this is going to be let's just get that and this is going to be input of email oops there we go email and uh, let's give it a placeholder value as well it looks cool with the placeholder values and it's going to say enter your email looks cool and now i can say input and this is going to be of type submit okay and just for the sake we're not going to use it but having a value is something is a good practice you should all follow it so there we go looks just decent and uh, now let me bring it, this up uh, onto my packages atom live server and stop this first of all and just restart the server okay so this is what i have right now and you can see that this is a plain thing which we don't like so I have used two uh, websites here. The first one is uigradients.com, which I use regularly for getting some awesome gradients. Every time you hit a reload, you get a new gradient there. And just clicking on this button, it gives you a CSS for that. Also, I'll be using some flat uicolors.com to make it a little bit decent. So let's go ahead and code that out. And again, uh, for the gradient, I'm using this uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Uh, I love the name there. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna use that. Okay, so uh, we forgot to connect our style.css. So let's just go ahead and do that. And we're gonna call this as CSS. Oops, not like that. Style colon CSS and uh, oops, I forgot what it used to be. Okay, looks, looks decent just like that. And uh, I forgot that how we used to do that link colon CSS. Yep, that's the one I'm looking for. Sometimes I forget the image shortcuts, but hey, everybody does that. So style.css is now connected and we can verify that using simply a body. And I can paste this guy here and can see if it is working. And yep, it is working, but our email form is still looking utterly bad. And I would say not just bad, it's pathetic. So let's just give it a few more things, this body guy. Okay, and let's give it a font family okay and i'm going to use a sense serif just for a backup and i'm also going to say margin is going to be zero okay nothing much or extraordinary there okay now the next thing that we're going to do is this division should take the entire uh entire height of the page there so i'm going to call this dot bg there we go and we're going to say for the height i want to use a hundred percent of the height so i'm going to say 100 viewport 100 viewport so viewport height simply means that whatever uh, the device height is just take that height and that's it and i'm also going to say the width of this guy oops i forgot to put the column there 
and I'm also gonna say width is gonna be 100% and you might be thinking hey you just told us to not to use percentage I know that I will come on this in a second and there we go okay so uh, now I want to just style this a little bit better so that we can focus on our next thing bringing this guy here and I like to do everything from the scratch so that you can also follow me along okay so next thing that we need to do is get this form so we're gonna catch this form and inside that we're gonna target the input tag of uh, submit there okay so we're gonna target that first of all okay or let's target the all forms first of all that would be better so we're gonna say dot form and all that uh, the first child we're gonna target them and we're gonna call first of all border to be zero because there is always a default border we're gonna say padding of let's just say 10 pixel we may increase that based on how does we like it and the background is gonna be white so three times fff there we go easy line height i want to make it a little big guys so i'm gonna say just like maybe 60 pixels or just a random thing and also some font size so font size is gonna be what it should be let's just say 30 pixel I want I like actually big things okay see that it's so easy to go there and uh, that looks amazingly good okay now I'm gonna use uh, uh, this submit form and I'm gonna select a color and I'm gonna be selecting this color here okay just click on there and select it so let's target that so we have to pick up a dot form class and inside that there is an input tag okay and that input guy is of uh, type equals submit okay I hope that selects it okay there we go and there we go okay so first of all we need a background color so background is gonna be uh, just paste that so command V or control V whatever you're using and let's give it a few border properties as well I like that border is gonna be let's just say two pixel uh, solid and border is also going to be of same color so that it looks decently good you can change that as well I'm also gonna change the color value here as well and I'm gonna make that white okay how does that look okay looks pretty decent and there we go looks pretty good now what I want to do here is I want to bring this guy at the center of the screen and I would recommend you to pause the video and go ahead try that out yourself without the flexbox and then I'll show you how easy it is to get everything uh, with the flexbox okay so go ahead pause the video and try that yourself okay I hope everybody paused the video there and tried it out yourself but now let me show you the magic of the flexbox so far we haven't used any property of the flexbox so let me go ahead and try that out so first of all I'm gonna select a BG the background here and the first thing that we have to say is display now in display here I'm gonna say flex there we go now at this right moment I have defined my container of the flex we will talk about the containers the directions the item of the flex in later on videos in quite a detail but right now I just want to be there okay and you can see there it has it has changed nothing nothing at all okay now let me show you the magic here now first of all I'm gonna use a property of justify content and I'm gonna say center okay what does that does and you can see it is now at the center and you might be thinking hey this is easy everybody can center horizontally but what everybody cannot do is uh, using this property which is a line item and I'm gonna call center there we go and what it does you can see and I know some of you have cried over this property because making things at the center with just two lines of code it is it is such an amazing thing with the flexbox so this is actually the first thing which impressed me quite a lot about the flexbox and I got impressed with the flexbox using this kind of thing and again this is not all the things this is just a basic overview of the power that comes up uh, with the flexbox okay so that's all you can also customize it later on like it should look more beautiful than this but hey uh, this is a video series about the flexbox not the lining items or CSS beautify things but again I would say uh, this is the power that you have seen with the flexbox and in the next video onwards we are going to learn the basics that uh, what are these justify items and what are the other properties we can have here and a lot more other things so i'll surely catch you up in the next video